today I want to talk about creating with other people. Creating with other people. Most of your choices will involve someone else. Like your business choices uh, will involve staff and clients and investors. Your relationship choices clearly involve someone else. Uh, so many, many things. So can I just ask, how many of you have, have got uh, choices or creations that involve others? They have others in there. So it's important because a lot of times we can actually knock ourselves out of being the predominant creative force by putting the power uh, into somebody else uh, with somebody else in a choice. So the first is you can create with others, but they also have free will. You can create with others, but they also have um, free will. And I went through a, a huge journey with this where I would find myself falling into one of these three different places, which is, which way is the best way to go? Maybe this way. Maybe I just need to move. So let me just um, uh, bring your attention to what's called or known as the, the drama triangle. This drama triangle is, is basically played out in all of our movies and many of our interactions. Uh, you're going to be in relationship with uh, the government, society, money, uh, other people, your family, your friends, you know, school systems. You, you're going to be in these um, drama triangles all the time. So the first position that many of us know is the hero or rescuer. The hero or rescuer. So the hero or rescuer... Uh, they have a worldview, and just, just write this down. Their worldview is, I'm okay, but you're not okay. I'm okay, and you're not okay. And so the hero or the, the rescuer, uh, with this worldview of, I'm okay, but you're not okay, is, is this idea, I'm better than, than you. Uh, I'm going to help you. I'm going to give solutions, uh, and I'm, I'm going to I'm going to make sure that that I that I save you, that I save you. The payoff for the hero or the rescuer is they feel needed and they feel good. What happens, however, is the hero or um, rescuer ends up becoming the victim of the victim because they end up not getting the payoff that they want because they, they end up seeing the other person as, as broken, uh, as needing fixed, as, as needing to be saved, and then they end up becoming the victim of the victim. You see this a lot uh, with, with parents. They become the victim of the victim. Or, or you see them when they have a friend who they try to help and then they end up, who, who's ever become the victim of the victim? Is it, do you guys know what I mean by that? Give me a yes if that's ever happened. You, you, you saw them, you, you said, I know, I know how to help you. And unconsciously you thought, I'm gonna, it's going to be really great to help this person. And uh, you went out there, you went to help them, you went to do it, you tried to save them, but, but they were unsavable because they have free will and they were quite happy being the victim. And then you became the victim of the victim. Yes. So, so that's one position we can play um in this in this drama triangle so it, so we all understand the rescuer hey now for me i spent a lot of time being the rescuer and i saw my clients as people i needed to rescue i saw my staff my friends my family and uh and, and then what would happen was i would then get frustrated because i wasn't saving anyone so i wasn't getting any payoff and it's exhausting it's exhausting. Remember, in order, order to be the rescuer, other people have to need to be rescued. So you have to always be surrounded by people who need to be saved. Interesting thought. Okay, so that's the first one we all know. The victim. So the victim, so if the rescuer says, I'm okay, you're not okay. The victim says, I'm not okay, and you are okay. So the, we play victim. So they, they say, I'm not okay, you're the okay one. The message that the victim has is I can't do it without you. I need you, right? I need you. The payoff is that they don't have to deal with things that seem too difficult. Someone else is going to take care of it for me. I don't have to deal with it. 
Okay, if it's too difficult, I don't deal with it because I can't do things without you. I need your help. They have um, behaviors of complaining, being helpless, withdrawing, and pretending incompetence. The problem is, is that people get tired of just helping them. Right. And so there's vi the, the victim. And it's a very interesting uh, position. I, I, I put my hand up. I, I've been in the victim. I've been in the victim. I need you. You know, I remember when I, I would do this with coaches, uh, you know, I would have a coach and then I'd bring them up. I said, well, I need what, what should I do? Or I'd have a marketing team. But but you were supposed to do my marketing for me. I can't do it. You were supposed to do it for me. That's how you know I. Uh, you know, you were supposed to help me. I remember I made some financial decisions and I said, but you told me this was going to be a good decision. So you told me. And so it was this idea, well, well I would, I would, uh, when I was playing victim, I would pretend that I couldn't figure it out or that someone else had other, uh, other knowledge and I would, I would play victim. So who, who's uh, willing uh, to say that they've found themselves in, in victim? you know, victim to COVID or victim to the government or victim to a partner, you know, uh, you know, me too. No, uh, I don't think it's any sense in pretending that we haven't played victim. And so, so, you know, when you're playing victim is you're saying, I can't do it without you. Uh, it's too difficult. I need, I need, <clears throat> I need you. It, it, it's, it, it's, it's something else. And so then there's the third style, the third place we can be, which is the villain or the persecutor. OK, so if the victim says, I'm not OK, you're OK. If the rescuer says, I'm OK, you're not OK. The persecutor is very similar to the rescuer. Persecutor says, I'm OK, you're not OK. The persecutor says, it's all your fault. I'm in charge. It's all your fault. I'm in charge. That's what the, the villain saying. It's your fault. I'm in charge. I'm going to get what I want. They can be criticizing, blaming, labeling, putting down, but and they often feel quite inadequate. And and, uh, and you see this a lot. Is that a person is thinking that they're being a rescuer or a hero, but they're actually just out there just 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 uh, always being the, the persecutor, being the villain. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. And, and the, they actually fall into victim because they never show their full potential. They're always just pointing out what's wrong everywhere. And they're always putting everyone else down. And so people tend to not want to, to be involved uh, in, in um, synergistic relationships with them. Now, uh, you see this drama triangle play out in movies right typically there's a villain out there and the villain you know is is the one that's you know trying to get it their way and try to tell everyone else how it should be and take over the world there's the hero that's coming in to save the day where's the hero the hero is coming in to save the day and then there's the victims who can't can't help without superman or superwoman or wonder woman being the hero the victims are just helpless little victims you see that the villains, I'm going to have it my way. Oh, I'm going to do it this way. Oh, we're just helpless and we're going to come in and save. And so when you're when you're working with someone else, it's very important that uh, that you're not. Uh, what's that, JD? I'm not sure. So, so what's, in, what's important is to understand that none of these are you being creative. None of these are super conscious. All of these are actually looking at a problem. Interesting, isn't it? They're all actually looking at a, at a problem. They're trying to, to fix and, uh, and change something that already exists. That's what they're trying. They're not being. They're not being super conscious. So many of us think that. All right. Well, out of the three, the one that I would prefer to be is the hero. Well, the the challenge with the hero is is the hero we all think is the is the best one, but unfortunately, the hero actually, in order to be a hero, there has to be a villain, and there has to be a victim. 
In order to save someone, there has to be something you're saving them from. So unfortunately, as much as we all think that they're, you know, that how great it is to be the hero, in order to be the hero, there has to be the cancer and the person who can't heal themselves of cancer. Does that make sense? So actually, the hero holds it all together. None of us want to be the victim, but actually the victim can feel really good. You know, the victim has something to blame and has someone to help them. The victim actually feels pretty good. There's, this is, it's not me. It's, it's, it's the government. It's not me. It's inflation. It's not me. It's, uh, it's this genetics. It's not me. It's this. And someone else is going to come in, some doctor, some CBD oil, something else is going to rescue me. So the victim, actually, a lot of us are in a lot of times. We say, well, it's not my fault, Chris. I don't have the money. It's not my fault, Chris. I, you know, I had kids at an early age. It's not my fault, Chris. I had this. Many of us don't want to be be uh, the villain or or the the persecutor. But um, the the funny thing is is out of all of them, the villain is the closest to being super conscious because they're the only one actually saying, "Here's how I want it to be." But the villain is so focused on taking and how everyone else is wrong that they forget to just go for what they like. Yeah. Isn't that a bit ironic, Sharon? It is. It's the closest. None of them are. So uh, when, when you're out there creating with other people, the first most important thing is to understand is that you, you actually can't save anybody. You actually can't save anybody. And uh, and I also want you to know is that um, nobody's going to save you. Uh, no one's going to save you. In fact, you, you're actually not a victim. You created it all, which is great. You're powerful. You get to create it. And uh, And there's no point being the villain you know, poking holes in what everyone else has got because you can tear down the, the the whole city and still not have the the skyscraper of your dreams. So what I want you to truly get with this is that when you're working at, with other people is that you can't save anybody, no one can save you, and you must first view everybody as a powerful creator as a powerful creator. They, they are powerful. They can create what they choose to create. And so what you must get to is everybody is actually creating their life's journey. Everyone has free will to have what it is that they choose and you have free will to have what it is that you choose. And, and we must just arrive at that place that there are no villains, there are no victims, and there are no heroes. There, there isn't, because the, the only people that actually get, get to create a life they love are, are creators. Does that make sense? Can I get yes if you're getting that? There are no victims. Because when you're working with others, you will find that others want to slot into one of these three positions. Hmm. You will see that they want to fit themselves to one of these three positions with you. Hmm. That's something to consider. You will also find that you want to slot yourself in somewhere. And so just notice in any relationships that, uh, that you have right now, any choices you have with other people, just feel into it. Just notice, are you and others falling into one of the three, the three places? So, now that I've given you a bit of awareness, I'm going to screen share the lesson plan so you can get the details. Okay, 
So the drama triangle, the three different ways that we're in conflict in relationship, okay? Um, and, and feel free to take a, a quick screenshot uh, of this if you want. So the persecutor or the, uh, the villain, I'm okay, you're not okay. It's all your fault. I'll get what I want. Criticizing, blaming, putting down. The victim, I'm not okay. You're okay. You're, you've got it together. You've got it together, doctor. You've got it together, coach. You've got it together, marketing team. You've got it together, uh, sister, brother, friend. I can't do it without you. I need you. I don't have to deal with things that are too difficult. I'm a victim. Or the rescue or hero, I'm okay. You're not okay. You're broken. Yeah. Payoff is needed, wanted, liked. Yeah. Uh, those of you in the certification, you, you got this whole um, weekly session guideline. I just wanted to share it with everyone here, just so they could just see, see what I was reading off. It's good information, isn't it? It's good information. Yeah, very good information. So, so how do we work together with other people? Well, 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 here's how we do it. The first and most important thing, and, and with, with my coaching, I just want to create a little, uh, a little box. I don't coach people on how to work with their children. That I'm not a parenting expert. So, I mean, get, once they're adults, then, then this stuff's good. But I'm not a parenting expert. So, so we, we can just, we can leave you know, any, any relationships with, uh, with, with people under the age of 16 for you, you to figure out. Does that, is that fair to say? Like I'm a creation expert. And, and so, uh, you know, there's all sorts of, all sorts of things that you need to take into account with that. Fair enough. Yeah. So the first thing is whenever you're working, uh, on a choice with adults, and uh, you know you're going for something. The first most important thing is everyone agrees on the end result. Everyone agrees on the same end result. That is that is crucial. Until everyone's agreeing on what it is that you're creating together, uh, then then unfortunately, uh, you, you know you, you're actually not working together as a team yet. Then the second thing is that everyone understands everyone else's perspective really important okay really really important so first is making sure that you get the end result second is to understand everyone else's perspective the third most important thing is that we all agree on the next action to take so that's why intuition and things are, are, are great